well, well, well. You know what we're going to do? Oh, I mean, that is just a thing of beauty. It does not get better than that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's looking pretty fantastic. Marauding Raptor, Commune, we got Shifting Ceratops. Hopefully they don't have a whole lot of removal, but yeah, pretty fantastic. That's going to be good. Oh boy, is it Phoenix? Is it Delver? Uh, this could be rough. Hmm. Well, we'll get Stomping Ground down. Uh, don't really need to use Commune. We do have Marauding Raptor, so Commune may end up forcing us to pass uh, Drover or Huntmaster to the bottom, which wouldn't be too good. Certainly, if we had two lands, we'd dig for that third one to more likely lock in Shifting Ceratops there. Luckily, the Delver didn't flip, so next turn we get to go, hopefully, Shifting Ceratops. Should be pretty good flying past Delver there. We'll also swing with Marauding Raptor as a 4-3. Yeah, that's going to be pretty fantastic. I mean, if all goes well, Regisaur Alpha next turn. Five, six, seven, potentially Galta. We'll see. Yeah, if nothing happens, we can go Galta next turn, and that might just lock things up. Potentially. Oh, they got... Oh, one Phoenix. One Phoenix, that's okay. How many types do they got? They got a uh, land, sorcery, creature. Some instants now. Okay, so I don't have four types, which is lucky. Don't have to worry about unholy heat quite yet. Oh, that is just fantastic. A thing of beauty. I say we just go Galta and hope that's enough. I think there's a good chance it will be. Fantastic. Pretty sure they can't do a whole lot against Galta. Okay, definitely want to take out the shifting. At the very least, uh, uh, no matter what they do, we have Regis or Alpha coming up next turn. Hmm. I think Galta is probably enough, though. Trying to cast a bunch of stuff for Phoenix, I guess. But one Phoenix isn't too bad. Alrighty, well, let's just uh, get her done. Regis or Alpha. I think that should do it. There we go. All right, we took the first game from Isaac Phoenix, which is always nice. Going to be a little bit of an uphill battle coming here, but we do have Anger of the Gods, which is, of course, just the fantastic sweeper against this deck. So we're certainly bringing that in. Um... Could probably drop Wayward Sword Tooth, I imagine, but I think we'll drop Hunt Master just because it does have two toughness. It dies so easily to Unholy Heat. Galta was quite nice. They got a lot of damage based stuff going on, so Ripjaw is going to be pretty sweet. Shifting could be good as well. I say we cut two Arnies. We do have a lot. That's Anger of the Gods going to keep things pretty clear. So we could probably cut two Arnie. We got a lot of interaction ways to deal with their board. 
plenty of nice creatures. Definitely going to prioritize the anger of the gods and hopefully wipe them. Clear them out. Maybe they get a couple phoenixes. They cast, use all their available mana, get a couple back. Or low, they don't have anything like a up. Even one blue for a spell pierce for countering the anger of the gods. But we're not seeing it quite yet. I do kind of like the wayward sword tooth plus inscription. There's a pretty good chance we'll get to four for shifting ceratops there. But at the very least, we got inscription. We got wayward. Double wayward. We'll see if I maybe should have mulliganed a little more aggressively for anger of the gods there. Ooh. Yikes. Going a little bit downhill, but get that stomping ground. Will be nice next turn playing two lands with the one wayward. And maybe an inscription for five. That should be pretty nice. Getting rid of some target plus gaining seven life after we put the two counters on wayward there. Ooh, a shifting well, that's good as well, but get that wayward. Cross our fingers for another land next turn. Probably I could see him getting that phoenix out this turn. At the very least, we could go shifting ceratops next turn, but if we do draw that fifth land, I think inscription of abundance for five is probably the right way to go. don't have anything else for one because they definitely would have used that uh, kind of tempted to go shifting actually mm. could go wayward also now nah, let's uh, keep it up see what they do hopefully the inscription for five is enough but they can certainly sneak out a lot. Oh, there's the unholy heat. And here's the inscription. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yes, I'm getting the life. Get that Dragon's Rage Chandler out of there. I mean, maybe it would have been better just to not fight. We would have been left with the Wayward Sword Tooth. So potentially that could have hurt us, but. Got Arnie Slays the Troll, we're taking out Insectile Aberration. Fighting, that is what it's all about. Arnie Slays the Troll coming in strong. It's going to be sweet if Wayward can stick around. We can put the counters on him next turn. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to go double shifting. Will be nice if we can get to those 10 permanents. Uh, Wayward Swordtooth has a 7-7. Seven, seven. Pretty good stuff. And then gaining life if the wayward sticks around and we get the third counter on Arnie Slays the Troll. I'm excited. Ooh, but, well, I was excited. Quack. Dang, the Phoenix. That's all right. We don't get the counters, unfortunately, but we get the shifting, which we can give reach. So that's always good. Let's pray they don't have another Unholy Heat. I think I've seen four of them so far. Yeah, pretty sure. They don't have another Phoenix yet, so that's nice, but they might exile and get the Ox of Agonis. Certainly if they can't deal any damage, they won't swing with the Phoenix since we can't block with shifting there. Yep, that's what they're doing. Oh, they forgot that we can give shifting reach. Phew, sneaky reach. That's what it's all about. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Gaining five life off this Harney Slays the Troll. Always fantastic. I think we could probably just cycle the sheltered thicket and hope we dig for something else but oh, another sheltered thicket hey that's quite all right 
think we'll leave both up. I would, if I had an extra one, I probably would have swung with the shifting, give it trample, get past the ox, a little bit of damage at least. I don't think they'll swing with the ox this turn. Hmm. Certainly would be nice if we get a Anger of the Gods, take out the ox, both Dragon's Rage Chandlers. Man, I think that would just do it right there. Pretty hard to recover from that. Hmm. Nope, do they have Phoenix in there? Oh, they do have... I think that was three. Oh, more Phoenix, yikes. Ah, this is going to be rough. So we're praying for an anger of the gods. Ouch. Well, the question is, do we take 11? Crossing our fingers, hoping for an anger. I think we do take the risk. We do have a game on them, so uh, that's not going to do it. Well, we took a risk. Didn't pay off. It would have uh, been game anyways. I do like the fighting, that sort of thing. Works out pretty good, but I think we'll, we'll leave it as is. Wayward Swordtooth was a pretty good fight target there. I mean, Unholy Heat certainly is rough. Dealing six damage. Yikes. We'll maybe see if they do that and we can slap two counters from inscription here. But, oh, seeing two Anger of the Gods, I think, uh, I mean, that's tempting. I say we just keep it. Very clunky starting off. No cheap creatures, unfortunately. No two drops, but two lands, two Angers. Pretty good chance getting to that third land. Definitely this next turn we'll dig for it with Commune. Oh, okay, well. Rockfall Veil, vale, Commune, get a, probably a fourth land, I would imagine. Help us get closer to that Regisaur Alpha, but Ripjaw. Kind of like that. Nah, Shelter Ticket, let's play it safe. We got Anger coming up next turn. If they play a bunch of stuff, we'll see. Pretty exciting. Oh, well, Wayward Swordtooth, actually. That's going to be pretty fantastic. Unless they counter it. Ether Gust. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I That's much better, certainly. I mean, potentially next turn we get the fifth land. We could go any number of things. Inscription for five. Probably Regis or Alpha if we get that other land. Then we'll be... Pretty close to 10 permanents. Ooh. Well, it is not, but... Uh, we could go double inscription for two. We can put counters on Wayward Sword Tooth to protect against Unholy Heat. We can gain life. We got a lot of options. Probably do want to wait until we have five so we can get the maximum benefit from inscription. Gain life, put counters, fight something. That's always fantastic. But I could see us using one of them this turn. They're going kind of slow, though. Nice seeing no phoenixes yet in the graveyard. I think we'll probably use one inscription at the end of their turn. Put the two counters on Wayward Sword Tooth. And no, we probably should save it just to be safe. Ah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's put those counters on. Ooh, Shifting Ceratops. I like the looks of that. Yeah, that's going to be pretty good. Hopefully, no Unholy Heat coming up to take out Shifting Ceratops there. But at least the Wayward is out of range.
Oh boy. I spoke too soon. There's the unholy heat. So, gotta sadly say goodbye to shifting ceratops there. I think waywards should be safe. Any phoenixes yet? Oh, good. No, no phoenixes. That is very nice. Lucky. Oh, more inscription. Um, hmm. Definitely want to save Anger of the Gods for sure. But it's nice seeing another inscription. We can fight this Delver of the Secrets. Probably fight that Dragon's Rage Chandler. Maybe the Phoenix if they get one of those. Still no Phoenix in the graveyard though. Hmm. Hopefully they play some more creatures. Maybe another Dragon's Rage Chandler. Maybe they do something with the Ox there. Be able to take them out with one of the Angers that we have. They want to deal six. Okay, okay, we'll let that happen. It'll be at one, so maybe they have something else in hand. Or they just wanted to cast Unholy Heat to get something else in the graveyard. Interesting. Maybe they thought it dealt seven, or they knew they had the red there. Well, well, well. I think it's time for an inscription. We can't save it from the second Unholy Heat, unfortunately, but we can take out the Dragon's Rage Chandler. Actually, I say we just gain the seven life. Yeah. Actually, 14. Let's gain 14 life. Let's pad the life total nicely. Because next turn we would have gone Anger anyways. We wouldn't have the potential benefit of 14 life there. That should give us a little bit more room to breathe. Ooh, Ripjaw. Yeah. I say we just go with that so we get more potential value. Hopefully Ripjaw survives, but more potential value from an Anger coming up. Definitely in a pretty safe place with 33 life there. Any phoenixes? And still no phoenixes, my goodness. Hmm. Sweltering Sun's not... Hey, we got something like it. Oh, they got a phoenix. All right. So they're definitely wanting to play more stuff to get it into play combat hopefully they don't have a spell pierce counter our anger of the gods that would suck oh two two phoenixes oh they played right into our master plan well 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 you know what we're gonna do oh i mean that is just a thing of beauty. It does not get better than that. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is... That is a highlight reel if I've ever seen one. Okay, you want to kill it? Okay, whoop, drown a card. Replace itself. Oh, another anger. Wow. Maybe they escaped the ox this turn, which we'll take out with Anger, one of the other Angers that we have. Yes, definitely looks like that's their plan. Luckily it doesn't have haste, so that's nice. Okay, 
Oh, we can go Wayward Sword Tooth. But we might as well go Anger Wayward afterwards. So we got four, seven. Could potentially get to 10 permanents next turn if we draw land, go Regisaur Alpha, able to swing with that pretty big Wayward Sword Tooth there. Hmm. Probably don't have a whole lot of creature. Oh, there's the Phoenix. Yikes. But we do have Anger of the Gods. Hey, Fading Hope, that's okay. You need to do it just to get the Phoenix there. Which we're going to take out. Coming up. Ooh, that's tempting. Ripjaw. Regisaur. Nah, I say we go Ripjaw. Hopefully it works out in our favor. We still have a decent amount of life. Nothing too scary, especially since they do have one card left. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. This is... This is just disgusting. decent all right so good old anger bam smoke them now maybe next turn we get to 10 permanents finally with Regis or Alpha there oh we did it friends this is maybe my best is it Phoenix matchup ever. Holy cow. Anger of the gods. Put it in somewhere. You saw it. Fantastic stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed. Yeah, always room for improvement. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.